Hey, what's up everybody? We're playing Minecraft again and the Caves and Cliffs Part 2 is out. So right in front of you, I'm going to go ahead and go to the latest release. Let's go ahead and play. Now it's going to have to download, but I have pretty good internet speed, so it's going to download pretty quickly. And I guess a couple things before we jump into the world. So I did use MCA, is it Selector? Editor? It's that program where you basically delete chunks. So what I did is any chunks that don't have current builds on them are deleted so basically my entire world is refreshed i did the same thing with caves and cliffs part one so everybody here is the deal i have pretty limited knowledge as far as how things changed and what's happening because i've been keeping up with the snapshots but i'm i'm pretty clueless about like super in-depth so of what changed that is why usually i would look around explore and then record but in this case i thought i might as well record when i go in because this is going to be my first time stepping into my new world and i'm pretty safe with saying my new world because everything theoretically should be pretty different and i guess we're gonna see what happens here right, so i'm back in my world i'm not into the ground I guess here is the first thing that I want to see. What happened to the limit on the ground? So if I go over here. Okay. Oh, and there's glow squids here. Oh, so literally the bedrock just got completely deleted. And now it goes further down. Okay, that's cool. Okay, everybody. So it goes down to negative 60. So that's cool. Now, in the, the only annoying part is the work that I've been doing in between this episode and last episode specifically has to do with large digs. And now I basically have to empty even more chunks. And the and I'm pretty sure this stuff is harder than normal stone. So, so I guess the next thing we should do is check out some of the new generation, right? I guess that's the next logical step. So let me go ahead and grab some rockets and I'll probably need more rockets than that. Let's go fly around for a little while and see if we could see any of the new generation. I know this was mostly a caves update. I know cliffs is in the name, um, but there should be new generation now. Okay, my, since I'm not using Optifine, everything is a lot slower. Um, but I deleted a good amount of chunks as far as that I the only things I didn't delete were Maybe a couple of hundred blocks out. So we really should be hitting new terrain pretty quickly here Even yeah past this ocean We really what the why is there cows? That that's not normal um yeah, that's that's not normal at all. Cow, why is there so many? There's something very wrong with this ocean. What's? Huh? Was there villages villages here before? Yeah, that's not normal. I'm guessing that was maybe pre 1.18 maybe this was all planes because this is completely new generation right so maybe before there was a planes here but now there's an ocean and it's just a bug okay this isn't normal okay there's some land that that ocean was way too large i was way too large Okay, I'm trying to see some of the new generate. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me. Oh, okay. So that's what I think that's what's going on. This is completely new generation. And in my current new world, I'm here. So when I went this way, I just hit a giant ocean. So basically, the only part that I didn't reset was like right here. Okay. So let's test this. If I go to 25, 25. Let's see. So if I'm correct, yeah, this is Mesa. So that, that map is correct. 
So this is apparently our new map here. So this is where I this is where our town is. What do I got around me? I've got swamp. Apparently I got bam I got a a new jungle near me. A lot of ocean. I've got a large ocean here. Got savanna, plains. I don't actually it's I don't have that. The only thing that sucks is this is the only desert near me. Which is pretty far away actually. Okay, so I checked the features page just in case. So there isn't actually much new stuff aside from the caves. So that's I guess good and bad. So there's not much actually for us to check out other than maybe new terrain, but the new terrain isn't crazy. It's really mostly underground stuff. Okay, I think we're probably hitting new terrain around here. It it almost looks weird because see like things like this. This doesn't usually exist in Minecraft. If things like this existed, it would usually be a mountain. But you could tell these aren't mountains, you know? See, oh my god, look at this. Holy crap. Look at this. This cave is huge. I mean, I can fly through it. Holy crap. Ooh, there's some of the new drips. Well, not new. We've had dripstone, but some of the new cave dripstone. How sick is this? Okay, I probably don't want to go in there. It's just flying through. It is so weird. I've never been able... Oh, and there's a geode. I've never been able to just fly underground like this. Let me make sure I eat real quick. Okay, I have to figure out how to get back out. Okay, through here. This is so cool. Alright, this is the type of stuff I was looking for. Okay. Ooh, my new jungle, apparently. And again, with these mountains. This isn't normal, that's new. Usually stuff like that doesn't spawn. Okay, yeah, this is sick. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Let me go into spectator mode. And you guys can get a kind of a better look underground. So let's load in some stuff. So, this is what the new underground looks like. So, you can see there is a lot more caves. It's very dynamic caves, you know, very wide, open. A lot of... Ooh, okay. And again, I'm not going to be using this to, like, cheat and go find stuff. Oh, probably there's nothing new, but... So, this is, a, this is an example of the new spiked stuff. Oh, we got the little... You know, you got the pillars of it. Cool. Now, what I want to look, where's the lush caves? Do I, is there an example of a lush cave around here that I can kind of just look at? Yes. Okay. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought they'd be a little bit more common, but apparently not. But this is what I'm looking for here. So you can see starting up some foil, some, I don't know, some word I'm trying to say. But this is a lush cave right here. So we've got the new leaves and the glow berries, uh, some of the moss. This looks like a particularly small one, but I think that is a lush cave. Nope, it's still small, but now here you can see actually some of the, you know, the azalea and stuff like that. So, yep, this is the lush caves. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we can go back home, back to actually just playing normal Minecraft here. Um, so that was basically the update. It Literally, it's just caves and mountains. Nothing really else added. The lush caves again were added, but no, I don't think any new items. Like all of the the deep dark stuff and the shulker and the sulkers and none of that stuff is added just yet. So cool. Well, I guess we can start out with the actual episode now. So let's start out with some of the small things. I went mining while I was getting a lot of sand. So we look in this chest here. Bang! I have a lot. I have a lot of iron ore, a lot of redstone ore. Lapis, gold, you know, the normal. And I did get quite a bit of diamond. Now, I'm debating whether to break this into diamonds or just leave it as ore for decoration. Um, but the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these, like all of this coal and redstone, and I'm going to expand this pile here. So I know what I'm going to do. Oop, I fell off. I'm going to make this go higher. And I'm also going to fill in. I took a lot of the redstone out of the middle, but I'm going to go back. And in in between episodes, this isn't something I'm going to put on camera because it doesn't really matter. But I'm going to go around and make it taller. 
and then I'm also going to, you know, fill all of this stuff in that. See, what else do I have? Globe room. Okay, so another thing that I am still working on, so this isn't done, but you guys know we have a little globe room here, and I have... Oh, that's interesting. This is all old terrain. Yeah, this is old terrain here, because mm, that isn't really the same. Okay, well, maybe I won't update these maps because these show my old terrain. But anyway, I have this and I have my little globe here and I was very underwhelmed by that. Well, I thought, wait, I forgot to do the opposite. This is us looking at a cube, but what if we were inside the cube? So I made a very, very quick little hole down here. If we go through this door, bang. You could see, and I even have the door with the uh, item for, with the frame in the map. So we actually don't even see an exit. But yeah, so this is an example of a whole room. A seven, this is a 7x7 seven seven cube just filled with maps. And we get this like really cool effect. So I did this. Um, but what I'm planning to do is put actual maps. Like this is just one map copied over and over of a chunk that I just copied. But I want to do that with like my actual world. So when I get enough time to make enough maps, I'm definitely going to go ahead and do that. But um, that'll take a lot of work. But really, the big thing that I told you guys last episode was that I was going to work on the dropper game. So I don't know what I showed you guys last episode, where we left off. I could probably just go look at the footage. But I'm pretty sure I just had the holes mapped out. And that's it. Just the holes. And real quick. Okay, so this looks a bit weird, but this is the closest to what I had before. Okay, so like I said, I think last episode I just had the holes, but now I've actually completely finished two of the portions and made the other two. So you guys remember, I basically made it a four square, right? Well, bam, there it is. So this is a lot more progress than you guys probably thought I would just make in between episodes because this is absolutely massive. This took many 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 hours to build just the glass and then of course the amount of glass that is in here is stupid um i know i went through all of my glass that i had plus i had to go back to the desert and basically clear out an entire desert just to get that much glass back so again i don't know where i was left off last episode but i know i i had these entirely hollowed out and then all i did was around the sides i built glass up I made one green, one red, one yellow, one black. So my intention was to be easy, medium, hard, impossible, but that didn't really end up being the case because I built two of the droppers so far. So I have four, but I only built two. I made this one and this one. Um, and I'll definitely show you guys me running them. But um, yep, so you can see I just have the four. Now let me go up here and show you guys what's going on as far as up here. So I haven't worked too much here. I've, I've, I'm planning on building a platform, which I'll probably do this episode off camera. Um, Cause I literally have nothing here so far. And I haven't even taken my beacon down because I'm still building these two. So there's no point to actually take the beacon down dropper because um, now the bottom down there goes even deeper. So these droppers actually go down even further. Oh, and here's another question. Let me try to land on here. Did it? Oh my, they raised the height too. This was the limit before. They raised oh, no. the height. I mean, this is good. I don't know why I'm complaining, but wow. Um, I need blocks. Um, yes. Oh, <laughs> is that is that the limit right there? That is literally the limit. Okay, so 320. Okay, so that is the height. Actually, you know what? I'll leave this here just for comparison. Let's take a look like from here. Okay, so that's how much new... So that's not a crazy amount of new height, but that's still a good bit. So that means that things like that building, I'm going to have to extend. So the dropper, I'm going to have to extend. Now I have to dig out all the way down to negative whatever that it was before. So man... So I guess it's kind of a good time for me to build the droppers, but also a bad time because I already finished two of them. But yeah, anyway, now to my actual droppers. So 
This dropper is a simple like panel dropper. So you've got, you know, little slits that I have to fall through and it's very precise mechanisms. And then this one is uh, like, a, and these are making up my own words here, but this is like a, um, like a chaos dropper where it's just like a lot of things down, you know, a lot of things that you have to like slowly avoid um, to get all the way down. So those are the two types of droppers that I just had in my mind. I need to think of two other dropper types. So I've got the chaos, I've got the panel. I need to think of another two types. So I might go to, I might download some dropper maps to grab some inspiration. Um, but let me quickly show you guys me actually succeeding in both of these drops. I'll play the clips now. And just to let you know, this one, it looks easy. It's green. It's like, oh, um, it doesn't look too bad. This one is actually extremely hard um you have to hit the right height right here and anyway, i'll show you the clip i'll even like just quickly okay yeah see i i already failed it and again you might as my guys are so this guy's just bad this is actually a hard dropper like you have to hit it like there and then go oh and see and then you gotta go you gotta go there and you gotta go here then you gotta miss that and you have to hit that water at the bottom it's actually hard Yep, and then I put some chests up here for me to put my items and a bed, obviously, so when I die, I respawn here, so I don't have to, like, come back every single time I do the dropper. Um, but yeah. So that is the progress that I made in between episodes. Just built up the glass and finished two of my droppers, even though, like I said, I might have to go... I don't know what I'm going to do with these two. Maybe I'll go back and um, maybe make them taller. I don't know. For now, it is 11 o'clock, and I've got my final exam for one of my classes tomorrow morning, so I'm going to go to sleep right now, and um, I'll probably start doing stuff another day. So, yeah. Hey, everybody. So, it's quite a few days later, and I've made a lot of progress as far as the world goes that I wanted to show you. Now, I'm going to try to do this in one take because um, there's a lot of things. Obviously, the world got expanded downwards and upwards, so a lot of change had to come with that. So, I'll first start off with updating both chunks. So, you guys, I don't know if it was last episode or this episode. I think it was last episode. We created two, basically, view or chunk views, right? So, I've got this one right here with glass that I can look down upon. And you could see that it before... The chunk or the bottom of the world was right around where you start seeing the new blocks well I took it and I expanded it all the way down to bedrock and I guess I'll break the glass for this because I actually do want to go take a look at it because this is super cool so like I mentioned earlier and something that I didn't think would happen but the new generation under the bedrock is the new generation so i didn't even realize but i came down here and i dug it all the way straight down so you could see it is all of the bedrock but i have the that was a really weird noise i have a lush cave right under me literally right in smack dab in the middle of this chunk that i was digging so you could see i have a lot of these new leaves um i have the moss which was here before i got uh, I've got some of the new flowers. I've just got a big old thing right here. So this is actually super, super cool that inside of my like example view chunk, I even have bits of the, you know, mine shaft and the clay and the lush forest. Like this right here is super sick. This is a mine shaft inside of a lush cave. So this is super, super sick. And I really like how this kind of turned out. Uh, basically my whole being smack dab in the middle of you know one of those types of biomes and along with that chunk I also f um, finished the one over here so you could see that that is where the world limit was before and I dug all the way down and this one's a little bit more clean as far as there's not many caves in the middle of it and um, I do have water at the bottom of this one because this is the one that doesn't have that glass ceiling so I could very easily, you know, jump into it. 
Um, and that leads us into something else that I did, which I'm going to go to the sign for. I updated the skyscraper. Now, um, let me get some rockets here. Bang, bang, bang. And too many more. Right next to that hole is my skyscraper. And you guys might notice something a little bit different about the skyscraper. It seems to be taller than normal. And that is because... Um, I went ahead and updated the skyscraper so it hits the max build limit just like before. So you're not going to notice anything weird with it. It's literally just now we're at all the way at 320. Um, so the building is a lot higher and you could almost tell because this height was flush with my roller coaster down there. Now, obviously I'm not moving my entire roller coaster so we went from about there to about this height. And like I said, you're not going to notice any difference as far as the building. I did the exact same thing with wood, windows, glowstone. And obviously that goes down all the way. And I, I can literally show you that goes all the way down to my shops, which are right over here. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, well, it's a good thing I have another one with me. But anyway, I'll get out. So it's very, very simple. I updated the building. Um, and by only, I mean... I don't even know how many hours of work <laughs> because it was done here so I had to do from here on up and that's almost a third of the entire original building and you guys know the original building took like a whole day to build so um, I say only but <laughs> maybe I'm downplaying the amount of work that I had to put in it okay I I think I've gotten way too comfortable with those totems of undying since we built that raid farm. Uh, but yeah, I updated that building. Let me go ahead and get some of these bad boys. Bang, bang. I'll, I'll bring two more with me because apparently I'm prone to hitting the ground extremely hard. But along with that building, I have a, updated the roller coaster, which also took quite a bit. Um, not as much, though, just because as far as a roller coaster... It's all of it's all the same up until you get about here. And this is where it gets different. So everything's the same. I wanted to increase all of this to world height, but honestly, man, that's a lot of work. So what I did is I came over to where uh, we end the themed sections. We come to this glass. Before this would just go straight and then drop. Well, I made it go all the way up to world height, and now we've got you know, a little bit riding here where we're actually at world height here at three. Well, it world height is 320, but I needed one block down so I could actually drop it because if this glass was one higher, I actually couldn't place the railing. So the railing is at limit, not the glass itself. But anyway, so that I changed that. So we're all the way up here and we have the same dropper we hit here and we go bam. And now we have a longer drop and I'm probably going to die. Um, Okay, let me try to... Did I not have a totem? Well, the easiest way to get my stuff right now is put on a totem of undying and I guess just jump back down. I think this would be the easiest way, right? And we get bang, yep, and we get all of our stuff back. Okay, so I guess I'll start off with that is where the world height was before here. And you could see because this is where our old railing used to be. We used to stop right here and go up. But I went ahead and when we jump down, we fall from farther up but we also have to go farther down and we'll hit here and i built the rest of the railing to come through here and then i just happened to hit a nice big juicy cave probably the biggest one i've seen so far so i went ahead and just made a nice little slow railing so we get an actual view of it and then we keep going up here we go up and up and up and then in just a minute here we meet back up with the original railing and we continue the ride as normal. So really the only changes was the glass up there and then I made the drop farther and now we we go through an actual really cool cave, which once again, I'm super happy that it's right under my world. Um, the only other thing is I found this new hole here. So if we go down here, this is going to be our entrance way to the super large cavern. Um, can I find it again? Yeah, right here. So this is like a big, well, up there I'll show you, but yeah, so this is like a super good spot where I think we're going to do something with that big cavern, but right here, there's not much going on. So I'm going to build some form of entrance 
for this cave right in that spot and i think that is going to look extremely nice so i think that's the new hole to amazing cavern yep we got that out of the way um oh i got the new flower and drip leaves so obviously from all those lush caves i was able to snag some of these uh, drip leaves and some spore blossoms so we're probably going to end up doing some stuff with those in the near future and lastly yep and i updated uh the dropper game for some reason i feel like i already talked about this but i know for a fact i didn't because it's still on my board um yeah if we go over to my dropper game and you guys remember last or just like a couple before my last cut well i did some updates uh, the red and the black have been updated to max world height. So what I've decided to do is since the green and the yellow are supposed to be easy and intermediate, well, I said, well, you know what, let's perfect. I'll leave them with the old limits of up and down and the black and red, which are supposed to be hard. I'll increase their heights to max. And then at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and decrease their bottom limit to the actual limit so the black and the red now have much farther drops down meaning i can put more obstacles and it's going to make these a lot harder so that this blue yellow red or blue yellow red the red green yellow and black ranking system actually now makes some form of sense since the two harder ones actually have uh deeper drops so that's going to be kind of cool now i haven't done anything with the black or the green um but um I think digging out the chunks was a couple hours anyway. I think that's enough work for me today. Um, and obviously, I had to get a whole bunch of glass to do that. I had to get a whole bunch of glass to finish that. Um, so I think my work was cut out for me as far as this episode goes. And I think that is all of the updates. Most of my height-dependent projects have kind of been updated correctly. Um... So yeah, and I think I will end the episode off here, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as this one's the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.